Hi there, and welcome to Adobe Creative Club, episode nine. In this episode, we are going to be looking at video compositing. Now, compositing, that might be a new word for you. Have you heard that before? Compositing videos means building up a single video from combining and layering loads of different uh, video clips together. And it's something that happens loads in the movies, and it's a really cool thing to uh, get get stuck into, okay? So let's jump over to Adobe Express, because today we're going to be creating a video composition. We're going to be doing some video compositing to create a uh, video design showing what lights you up. So, well, what do I mean by what lights you up? Well, what are your hobbies? What are the things that you look forward to doing most in your life? And we are going to see if we can come up with something cool to do with that. Okay, let's jump straight over. Here we go. I'm in Adobe Express here. I'm on the dashboard. So let's jump straight away and get cracking on our video composition. So, as always, I'm going to start off creating a new project by clicking on the plus icon at the top left. And it's up to you what you want to go for. Today, I'm going to go for a square design. So it's going to load up my square canvas. And that's what I really like to do uh, in my spare time. I love playing the drums. So I'm going to create a video composition about the drums. And um, hopefully you're, you're all starting to think now about what you're going to create your video composition about. Okay, so let's get some video clips. This is all about movement when you're compositing. Um, so we're not going to be looking for still images here. We're looking for video clips. So to find video clips over on the left hand side, we're going to click on media. And then where it says videos. I'm going to search in here for drumming or drum kit, something like that. Drum kit. Let's see what I end up with. Okay, there's some cool stuff here. Yeah. I've got a lot of options here. And I think I'm going to go with this because the background is nice and plain. And I think I can mess around with this. So I'm going to add that just by clicking on it. Okay, and I want it to fill my square, so I'll just click on fit video, uh, sorry, fill video, not fit video, fill video there. There we go. And I can just slide it left and right, just, there we are, something like that looks great to me. Now, um, this project is going to get quite intense. We're going to have quite a lot of layers in there, and it's going to ask quite a lot of Adobe Express. So it'll probably help you to get things running smoother if you don't have too long a scene. So at the moment, this video clip is 35 seconds long. So I'm just going to drag the playhead to about 15 seconds. Okay, there we are, something like that. And then I'm going to split this clip because I only want that front bit. I don't want the last bit. So let's click on the three dots and split it. It's going to split it where the playhead is now. There we go. And that second clip, I'm just going to select it and hit backspace or delete on my keyboard. Okay, and now my clip is only 15 seconds-ish long. Okay, great. Now then. What I'm going to do straight away is I want to duplicate this clip, okay? Because I'm going to remove the background and I'm going to have both of the layers of this video clip totally in line with each other. So it doesn't look as if I've got two versions, but having the background removed on the front version means we're going to be able to kind of slide things in between uh, the two video layers and it's going to look really cool. So to do that, I'm just going to select the layer in the layer stack over here. And then I am going to hit the duplicate icon in the top left. And there it is. Okay. Now, uh, I'll kind of roughly line it up with where the other one was, but it doesn't really matter for now. Oh, yeah. Also, with this, um, it'll help if you turn your layer timing on so that you can just double check that things are lined up. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the uh, background from this video clip. And this, this could take a while, okay, depending on um, your video clip itself. Tell you what, let's click the button and then chat about it. <laughs> so I'm going to click remove background. And you can see this spinning circle here shows me that it's having a good old think about removing the background, okay? So that, that could take a while. It all depends on how fast your internet connection is, um, how long the clip is, how complicated the background is. So my clip's got quite a simple background, I think, okay? So it might process it faster. If your background has got a lot of stuff going on there, um, then obviously Express is going to have to work harder uh, to work out what's the background and what's not. Okay. Now you could even uh, leave that to carry on on its own um, and and keep on working on your design. Um, but I don't think it's going to take much longer. There we go. It's done. Okay. Cool. So now what I want to do is I want to line this. There we go. I want to line this video clip up with the other one. Okay. Now, if they don't totally line up, it's not a huge problem. There we are. You can see there's, that the front one is slightly ahead of the back one, but it, it's absolutely fine, okay, because we're going to be using some, some blend modes and some cool stuff. But basically, I've now got that twice. Let's have a look at just the cutout version. So what I'll do is I'll select the the one in the back that's not cut out and I'll turn the opacity right down on that. There we are. So this is our cutout layer. Okay, you can see what it's kept and what it's cut out. And if it's kind of cut out something weirdly, like mine has, it's chopped off the bass drum and, and when the drum that's over here, it doesn't really matter, okay? Because what we're doing here is, is going to be really creative anyway. So it doesn't really matter um, if it's cut the background in a weird way. Right, let's bring the opacity back up. There we go. So we can see both of them together. All right, cool. So what are we going to do next? So now straight away, we want to um, bring in yet another video layer. Okay, so uh, over on the left-hand side, you can see I'm still in the media uh, tab there under videos, and I'm going to bring in something else. Okay, now this symbol here, this close-up of a symbol and a stick hitting it, I think this is going to work really well. So I'm going to bring my playhead back to the start on the timeline because I want that clip to come in right at the beginning of the scene, and then I'm just going to click on that. Okay, so... <laughs> Again, I'm going to fill the video. Okay, I want to fill up my... Oop, bad days. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to just fill that like that. And I'm just going to bring it up higher up. Yeah, something like that, perhaps. Cool. Now, you can see that this video clip, this uh, symbol being played, is actually shorter than the duration of my main clip of the dude playing the drums. So if you've got that happening, what you need to do is make sure that uh, any video layers, any upper video layers need to be as long. So to do that, that's all I need to do is really slow this down, okay? So I'm gonna choose my close-up of the symbol, and then I'm gonna drag the speed slider down and you can see if you slow it down, it obviously makes that clip longer. Okay. And it just needs to make you just need to make sure it ex extends right to the end. Okay, cool. So now if I click play, I'm gonna have this slow motion drumstick tapping on a symbol. That's really cool. I like that. But of course, we can't see we can't see the uh, we can't see the layers behind. So here's where we start with our compositing because I can obviously uh, click on this uh, video of the close-up of the symbol and let's try a uh, screen. So what screen does is it keeps the lighter parts and it deletes the darker parts. Okay, so it's made the darker parts of this video clip this symbol see-through. That's why we can see the drum at the bottom. And it's kept the lighter parts, so that's the symbol itself, 
visible. If I go for uh, multiply, it's going to do the opposite. It's going to keep the dark bit at the bottom, and it's actually made the symbol uh, at the top see-through. Now, there isn't a right and a wrong here, guys, okay? Because if I play that, I should see the stick coming in. There, see? Look at that. That's really cool. But for this one, I think I'm going to prefer it if I see more of the symbol like that. And here's where we can start seeing the benefit now of... Yeah, see, look, that's really cool. But I'm losing my main dude. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that symbol between these two layers. Let's try it. Aha, cool. So now, the dude himself is visible because he's in the front. And that symbol's behind him. And then the main video clip without the removed background is right in the back. Okay, and straight away you can start seeing now, aha, this, this is going to be cool. All right, okay. So, what's next? Well, this is all about what lights you up. And tell you what, I'm sure Dom is watching this video now and he's shouting at me because I haven't named my project. So, let's click up the top left. This lights me up. That's the name of this project. This lights me up. Okay. Right, so if something lights you up, we better, we better get some lights in there. See what I did there? This lights you up. Let's get some lights in there, guys. So uh, let's go back over to our media on the left-hand side. But days, where's my mouse? There it is. Click on media, and I'm going to look for... Um, I'm going to just go for flash... I want a kind of flash of light. Let's see. Let's hover over this. Ooh, that's cool. That is cool. Oh, man, that's cool. I love those. Yeah, I really like those kind of... I really like those embers. Let's see if we can do something with this. Okay. Let's bring it in. Okay. Let's bring back your playhead to the beginning of the timeline. Yup. And let's click. Let's add these embers in. So I want the light to be kind of coming out from the middle of this person's body because it's like right, doing this makes me happy type of thing, you know? So let's just, we're just going to have to experiment with this now. Okay. So increase the size. And, hey, I'd like to rotate this, but I don't see the rotate tool anymore. What's, what's happened to my rotate tool, guys? Hmm. Strange. Anybody know where it's gone? Where's my rotate tool gone? Let's click away. Let's click back on this. Yeah, I don't... Ah, it's there. There it is. Huh. <laughs> okay. Was it there all along? Probably was. Right. So I'm going to... I want to... There we go. Let's get the kind of center of that light. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, it's flipped around the top. Let's get the center of that light in his kind of chest there. Okay. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to... You know what I'm going to do? I want to keep the light stuff, and I want to get rid of the dark stuff. So that is screen. Cool. And maybe I'm just going to make this fit the width, because that might save us some trouble later on. And, um, yeah, do you know what? I better bring it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And now I want to get that, again, between the two layers of 
my drummer. Ah, now then, that doesn't work, does it? It's actually hiding the drum itself. So that's kind of what I wanted it originally. Let's see how that works. Yeah, it does work, but I think I'm going to get some kind of funny look. Ah, undo. I'm going to get some kind of funny looking edge at the bottom of it. I am. I am. There, you can see the the funny looking edge there. Hmm. Do you know what? I'm going to go with a different light video. Sometimes you'll try something and it doesn't work. Okay. Never be too proud to delete something and start again. Okay. Let's find another light flash. Something that's maybe more contained. And um, I think it's going to be this one. Yeah, this one's going to work well. Okay, let's bring that in. Okie dokie. There it is. There's my flash. Let's just bring this forward to when the, there's more light. Cool. Let's throw the screen blend mode on. Yeah, brilliant. And I'm going to put it right there in his chest. Let's rotate it as well. Maybe that might help. Yeah, let's get this to fit. There we go. Let's fill the whole width up. So we don't need to worry about funny looking edges. Cool. Okay. And now that needs to go behind him. Okay, and you can see that light's kind of shining. And I'm not quite so fussed about what's happening down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the opacity down on the light. There we go. Okay, if it's totally off, then it's like that. I'm just bringing it up enough. You can still see the drum at the bottom. Doesn't look too strange. Let's hit play and see what that's like. Hmm. I'm not totally convinced of this. Um, it's either distracting or it's not obvious enough. Let's flip it around and let's push it up kind of around his head. Might be better. Okay. Yeah, see that ray of light there? That, that looks as if it's going to work better. Okay, let's have a look. Ah, yeah, you see the light there shining behind his head. That's working. Now, you can also decide whether you want that to be behind the other video layer. So I could put it behind the symbol as well. Okay, could try that. Just gonna... Yeah. Yeah. So just experiment. Once you've added your blend modes, experiment with the layer stack and see, just see what works best. Okay, it's as simple as that. Okay, let's get some text in here, guys. So uh, I'm just going to come over to the left-hand side. You've used the text tool plenty of times by now. Left-hand side, hit text, add your text. And in here, I'm just going to type this. Lights. Oh, what's happening? Oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> this lights me up. And I'm going to go for my old faithful dynamic text layout. And I'm going to get this text over here. And uh, there we go. Now then, start thinking about where I want it. But before I spend too long on that, let's look at fonts. Okay. Never go with the, the font that you get right at the beginning of any design. Always, always pick your own custom font. Okay. So um, I'm looking for a nice kind of thick font which is going to 
stand out. I probably want a nice tall font as well because I've got some height to work with up here. So I don't want too wide a font. I want the letters to be quite tall, but also pretty bold. Like Oswald Heavy reg Regular. Oswald Heavy Regular. That could do it. I love Poplar. I'm going to have to pick something else because I always go for Poplar. Pick something else. <laughs> I always keep picking the same fonts all the time. Oh, come on. Hmm. I like that Potter one. Potter. Potter. Let's go. <laughs> um, let's keep looking. On a really nice, tall, thick font. Oh, I've reached the bottom. I'm not going to click on more fonts because that is just going down the rabbit hole. I'm going to go for the Potter. Okay. So, yeah, that looks really cool. Okay, so I'm going to pop that in there. Cool. And now again, what I'm doing, I'm going to composite this, and I'm going to bring it underneath, certainly underneath my front guy, because that effect is going to be really cool with the cutout of his arms just passing in front of the text. Do you see that? I think that's really cool. We could even have a look at, is does it work? Mm, I'll lose it too much, maybe, if I pop it behind the symbol. So I'll bring it up a layer. Okay, cool. Now then, what we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate this text. Okay, so I'm just going to hit the duplicate button. I've used this plenty of times. Here's my... Oh, don't move him. Undo. <laughs> a little tip for you guys. All right, if you're working on a layer, moving it around, bring it to the top. Okay, and then do your fiddling, and then you can um, pop it back to where you want it to be. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to increase the size of this text, like this. Okay, and I want to change the color of it, and I'm going to use the color picker to pick one of the colors from my video. So maybe like this kind of dark blue on his shirt there. So I'm going to click on the fill here, and I'm going to use the eyedropper. And let's pick a colour for that. Yeah, that works for me. That works for me. Next, I'm going to crush the line spacing. So that it ends up, although the, t although the font is bigger than the original text, it ends up being the same height. And then I'm going to drag that way back not that way back not that way back about there and then just drop the opacity i really like that effect i think that's really cool okay so um next i think if Something lights me up. I want the word me uh, to have a light behind it as well. So let's go back to media. Uh, let's go search for light this time. Light. Maybe, or maybe glow would be better. Maybe I should just wait for those results to, to load, but I'm impatient today. So <laughs> let's go for glow and let's see what pops up here. So my internet connection is uh, super slow, as you can see. Aha, here we go. So I'm looking for something that's going to work really well behind the uh, the word me. So I want something with plenty of movement. So this is a video project. Oh, that could do. That could do it. Yeah, let's try that. I think the blue will work well as well because I've got a lot of blue going on. Right, this again, you can see it's not long enough. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to slow it down. 
Ooh, it's just I'm going to, have to slow it more. <laughs> it's not wasn't quite long enough. All right, there we go. Was it? Let's try it again. I think it's. I think it's no. Oh yeah, it's fine. There we go. <laughs> All right. So let's bring this down. Let's pop it there. And uh, let's go again for screen. Bring forward to where there we go. I got my I got a kind of that blue glow is there. Hmm. So this now needs to be bigger. Okay, and I think I need to flip it. Flip, 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 flip. Flip vertical. Uh, flip horizontal, sorry. There we go. Bring that down. I don't think it's obvious enough. I think I need it to be a bigger flash. I think I'm being indecisive today, but I'm not sure. <laughs> that that needs to be more obvious, I think. So let's try uh, flash again up here. Compositing is all about trying things out, seeing what works, seeing what sticks. You can't know that something's going to work, okay? So enjoy the process of just messing around with these ideas. It's fine to put something down that you think is going to work and for it to fall flat. Like that blue glow just did with me there. Okay, it's too small. I need something bigger. So maybe this. I like that. Okay. Let's pop that in. This is the one. I can feel it. I'm going to go and we're going to add our screen. Cool. It's too short, so let's slow it down. Brilliant. And how big does this need to be? I'm going to pop it behind the M there. Okay, how big does it get? Oh, it gets really big. Cool. And now I'm just going to drag that behind that text layer. There. Okay, let's, let's just have a look and see how we're getting on. Yeah, that works well for me. That that it's quite subtle, but it is really drawing attention to the word me. I love this bit at the top. It's my favorite part of this project so far. I think it's really cool. Okay. We're getting there. Um I quite like the fact that this text is black and and there's dark stuff going on around it. I think it makes it look quite moody. Uh, I don't think this is one of those designs where seeing everything perfectly is the most important thing. Okay, so let's throw some fairy dust onto this. Let's get some magic onto this. Okay, we're going to add a film frame. Film frame. Now then, you'll know what I mean when you see this. It's going to give us that super retro, old-school, cinema, um, silent movie kind of effect, okay? Now, I'm obviously working in a square project, so this one here is probably going to work well for me. If you're working on a vertical or a landscape, you could use the first one and you could turn it. Um, but look how cool these are. They are so... Awesome. I need to use more of these. I need more of these in my life. These film frames. Look at it. It is just solid gold, this whole thing. Okay, I'm going to go for that first one that was up here at the top right. So I'm going to add that in. So this is way too short, as you can see. Okay, so there it is. Let's slow it down. Still too short. Slow down more. There we go. That's fine. And let's fill the video. Oh, look, it fits kind of perfectly. It's amazing. So this time I want to get rid of the light section in the middle and keep the dark. 
So for the first time, I think, I'm actually going to use the multiply blend mode. Oh, man, that's cool. Okay, what's going on at the bottom here? Something's happening down there. What's happening there? Some... Oh, I've got... I've just got a strip of white at the bottom. Ah, huh. didn't spot that. Okay, I'm not going to move things around now because uh, my two video clips will probably um, go out of line. So I don't really want to do that. So what I'm going to do... Oh, tell you what I can do. I'm going to spin this because there's... There we go. There's some kind of extra black at the sides. There we go. You can see... I can do that. There we go. Okay, let's have a look at this now. That frame has got some movement in it. Should see it kind of jittering a bit. Yeah, and it's got it's got some noise on there, and it's got some film burn on there. Film burn is cool. Uh, we could even add some more film burn if you want. Why wouldn't you want to do that? So let's, let's go and find some film burn. Okay, so you can. Search for film burn. Okay, so film burn is it's like super cool when light, colored light burns into the film, kind of like this. Okay, let's just straight away fiddle video that, bring it over to the interesting looking bit. I'm just going to Drop it right back to there. Okay, and I'm just going to throw a multiply on it, I think. And that should bring some really cool looking color effects around here. Yeah, you can see them there. There's a lot going on there. Love it. I think things are a bit too clean around here. Okay, so let's get some grain on there. Okay, so let's go into media. Let's look for film grain. Now, when you search for film grain, it might look as if there's nothing there. Okay, uh, because it's going to be pretty subtle. So, hmm. <laughs> Yeah, now that one could be the one. Or that one. Okay. So you see I'm going for the I'm going for the most subtle ones there, really. Okay. So let's fill the video. And it's too slow. So let's uh sorry, it's too short, so let's slow it down. Okay, so if I just click play there now, you should see there we go, you can see kind of white. Yeah, white, messy, crackly bits on there. Maybe it's not quite obvious enough. Let's look for a busier one. I think because I had to slow it down, uh, it's not as cool an effect. So let's go back in here. Let's make sure that I pick one that's maybe long enough this time. Uh, so that I don't need to... You go, I'll go for this one. Okay, it's not quite long enough, but I won't have to slow it down too much. Fill video... Cool. Okay. And I'm going to have to just slow it down a little bit. There we go. That's fine. So let's just click play and see that. There we go. So that's your film grain. And now, again, I want to keep the light and get rid of the dark. So that is screen. Now, it's cool, but it is way over the top at the moment. Okay. So if I click play, it's distracting me too much. So what I'm going to do is just bring the opacity right down to zero. And then let's just bring it up slowly to the point where let's find a bit, hang on, let's find a bit where there's a lot of, lot of grain on the screen. There we go, there. Okay. And let's, let's bring it down, the opacity right down to zero. And then I'm going to just bring it up slowly. Up 
about there, I think. Let's click play, see how it goes. Yeah, that works really well for me. Right, now then, finally, something's jarring. And that what's jarring is, is that the text is way too still. Okay, everything's got movement but except the text. So I'm not going to do anything too crazy with it, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add animation to the text. Nothing too in your face. I'm not going to have it animate in or out. Yes. I'm just going to have a looping animation on there. And I think with what's going on here, I think that maybe Jitter might be the one to go for here. And I'm going to put the speed up, but I'm going to bring the intensity right down. Let's put the intensity on one. Yeah, maybe bring the speed down a little bit. There we go, cool. And then I'm going to do the same for that kind of shadow text in the back. Animation, looping, jitter. And this time, I'll also go for intensity of one, but I'm going to bring the speed much lower than the other one so that they move kind of independently of each other. Let's have a look, see how this looks. Yeah, that amount of movement is enough. I think that that shadow text in the back could have more intensity. So that means it's going to move further when it just does. Okay, let's give that a go. Yeah. Okay. I love that. I could go on forever with this. Um, and hopefully you'll feel inspired to go on forever with it and just keep on adding stuff in, okay? Keep looking for these cool effects that you can add. Film grains, film burn, uh, film frames... Um, something else that's really cool is light leaks. Light leaks. Okay, this is what happens when you're watching a movie on an old style projector and the light leaks around the side of the film that's being played and it adds a really cool effect. Okay, um, again, just have a play around with these. You'll usually find that you need to use a blend mode or that you need to um, just drop the opacity, okay? Um, oh, that one is so cool. Look at it, look at it! Okay, <laughs> just, just keep adding stuff in. You'll know when you've added too much, because you, you'll, you'll feel, oh, I've ruined it, okay? Until that point, keep adding stuff in. Just line up my, this boy a bit. Yeah, my pop at the front. Get my frame in the front. Yeah, there we go. It's really cool. Once you're done, it's all you need to do is click download. And um, for this project, I think a 720 resolution is going to be absolutely fine. Okay, there's nothing much going on there. It's quite small. So. Hit download and it'll download that MP4 video to your downloads folder on your device. Okay, for you to share with your friends, your family, your teachers, whoever. Okay, well, thanks very much for joining me on this session. I've had an absolute blast doing some video compositing and I hope that you do too. Um, get your teachers to, to tag us, send, send some videos in to us. Um, post a comment on the video on YouTube. Um, we'd love to see your work. If there's a way your teachers can share it with us, that would be amazing. I really hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you. We're hitting double figures in the next one. We'll be back for episode 10 next week. Until then, hoil fawr, diolch Thanks for watching, and bye for now.